Good morning, Don Lane. Fraser Valley News, your morning news update for this Sunday, December the 5th. Uh, tribute to the GW Graham Grizzlies. AAA Provincial Coastal Champions uh, beating Terry Fox uh, last night at BC Place 36-33. I don't have any Grizz swag, so I had to throw on some Seahawks. My apologies to the Grizz. Uh, we hope to talk to uh, one of the coaching members uh, uh, later on today, but a uh, tip of the hat. Uh, we are, if you want to hear something that makes, considering the last couple of weeks, last three weeks, our scanner in the newsroom is not going off every three seconds. And that is music to the ears of a lot of people. Nice and quiet. Now, uh, evacuation orders being starting to slowly be rescinded. The latest one that we know of is Camperland, uh, Fraser Valley Regional District, City of Chilliwack, uh, City of Abbotsford, rescinding slowly a number of these uh, uh, evacuation orders. Trans Mountain Pipeline is hoping to do a restart of their pipeline today. So that will uh, definitely increase the flow of Petro prod products and, of course, uh, that doesn't mean that uh, the gasoline rationing is over. That's until the, the 14th uh, for 30 liters of fill or for 30 liters of shot. Uh, but that is what we have right now. District of Kent, winter night lights, that's up. Uh, downtown Chilliwack at the Christmas Village was up last night. We have pictures uh, up on the Facebook page of Fraser Valley News. And uh, celebrating 30 years of BC transplants, it's called Operation Popcorn, where popcorn is delivered uh, to various hospitals that do, uh, that are specializing in transplants and, uh, an upcoming event is in Chilliwack at Chilliwack General Hospital. Again, tip of the hat to GW Graham Grizzlies. Uh, now if only the BC Lions could learn a thing or two, maybe even the Seattle Seahawks, I don't know, but a big congrats and hint, I don't have swag. I do take two XL. Have yourself a great day. It'd be a bit of a chilly one. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News.